guys it's your girl oni dear here and today i'm gonna be doing just a quick fun little look that i just decided to do it's i i call it my peacock look um so yeah let's just get into it first things first i'm going to prime my eyes and go in straight with my bretman rocks palette now the first shade that i'm using i believe is Yes, it's um, Anaconda. Now I take that and I go on the outer points of my eyes and I just lightly brush it in. So I take that color and I go right over my eyes, just leaving my lid space open. So here you can see I'm taking the now the Venomous color and deepening that shade. So I'm going inner corner in the crease on the outer corner and I'm just filling in all that space. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and going in with the shade deeper and I'm going on the inner corner of my eyes and bringing it out. I'm also taking that Color that shade in deeper and I'm going over my eyelid as if it was a liner and I'm taking that also and going into my crease now any other space that you see that is kind of green I take the big peacock energy hence the name hence the eye look I'm taking that and I'm putting it all over and covering anaconda and venomous so I'm just taking that out and winging it so now I'm just taking those two colors big 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 peacock energy and I'm taking deeper and I'm blending them together now instead of using liner because I don't really like liner I take my concealer and put it on a thin brush and carve out where I want my eye line to go. So that's why I'm just taking the, my concealer and just going over and tightly making my own liner. Now I'm taking that. And I'm also going right underneath my eye. You'll, you'll see what this is for after. Now I just take, go back to my Bretman Rocks palette. And I just clean up anything with big peacock energy and make it a little bit more straighter if I messed up. So that's okay. And now as you can see, I pointed to King of the Jungle. I'm taking that color and I'm going over where I place that concealer just so it can stick and be bright. And you see how that looks? I'm pretty sure I could have used a liner, a gold liner that's already made, but your girl don't have that. So we got to improvise. And plus, I really do like how this came out and it shows the versatility of his palette. So you see, I'm just going over and I took some of that gold, the King of the Jungle eyeliner, and I went a little bit under my eye also. And I'm just blending that out. So now that I've done both eyes, I'm just going to continue on to the face. Usually when I do um, darker and more intricate eye looks, I like to do my eyes first and then my makeup. Now, before we even get into the makeup, this foundation, this thick foundation, um, I will not be using this again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's old. It's a little bit old. I don't. It's not expired. But it's just, I don't know, I think I, I left the, the top off for a little too long and it dried out. I don't know, but I just don't like how it looks on my skin. Since my skin is breaking out and it has eczema, um, it does look a little textured with this foundation. 
maybe I'll try it again. I don't know. But right now, it was not doing me any justice. So if you have it, don't do it. Just don't do it. For me. Just use your normal foundation. But this is what I went with. This is what I did. And we're going to stick with it. Also, even with this, as you can see, I'm baking. Now, since the foundation is dry, I'm going to dry out my face even more with this, with baking it, which will in turn show all the texture from my eczema and from my, um, what's it, my acne. What I should have did is I should have just put on my normal foundation, that Lumi foundation that you see I'm putting on now. I should have just put that on, period. All this layering and you know what it was? It was TikTok. I wanted to try a TikTok trend, forgetting I have eczema, forgetting I have textured skin, and now your girl is dry and cakey. But whatever we learn, we live and we learn from our mistakes. We'll know better when we're doing makeup on our face later. But that's why you're watching this video, so you can watch me do the mistakes, so you won't do them later. So please do not do cream to powder to liquid, please. It'll just show, if, especially if you have um, acne, psoriasis, um, eczema and things like that that make your skin a little more textured because baby girl you're going to see it people 10 miles away are going to see it and you know we don't want that but anyways let's get back into what we're doing just don't make the mistake I made looks good in pictures but when I walk outside I'm looking a cakey mess I digress but now we're just gonna go in with one of my favorite blushes from the Cover FX palette. I have the, I think the medium deep palette, obviously. Um, so I'm just taking that and putting it on the high points of my cheeks, which I love to do, taking it all over. Putting it on my nose. I like to put the little blush on my nose to make a little cutesy look. That's what I'm doing right here. Now I'm going to go in with my Becca highlighter, which I do love, oh my God. If you want everybody in the galaxy to see you, you need to get this highlighter. Oh, look at it. Oh, and the only bad thing about the foundation is I like to layer my highlights. So since my layer, since my foundation is cakey, my highlight is gonna look cakey. But you know what? We made a choice and we finna stick to that choice. <laughs> Nobody going, who gonna check us? Who is going to check us and our cakey face? Nobody. So now here I'm doing my lashes, just putting on my Big Ego mascara and I'm going to put on my false lashes over that just so they can, you know, just so they can have some place to sit before I glue them on. So I'm just trying to put on an even coat. And I'm going to just plop my lashes on. As you can see, I'm taking um, King in the Jungle. I'm going underneath my eye just to finish that look. And I'm going to put on more blush because you know, that is my weakness. That is my sin, blush and highlighter. I could never get enough, but we digress. <laughs> I 
Oh, for my lip, I used my... F oh, I forgot the name of it, Jesus. <sighs> it's just a nude look. So what I do is I take a, a nice little um, chestnut brown of some sort and I put it and I line my lips with it. Then I take a lighter lipstick and I just put it all over my lips and rub it in. Then after that, to make sure everything blends together, I grab a gloss, you can grab a lip balm, anything you like, and put it on and blend both of those in together. Oh, I'm about to put on my lashes. There, now you get to see my dusty shirt. You would think I would have cut that out. But anyways, now right here I show you how I brush my dry hair. Like, I just twist from the top and brush from the bottom up. Now when you twist your hair, that helps make sure that you're not pulling at your hair. So what I do is I just moisturize it and then I section that off. and I keep brushing just to make sure I am not pulling at the knots in my hair. So you just brush wherever your brush can't move any longer. You stop, twist, and brush from the bottom up. And I'm, I, I swear to you, it's not going to hurt. Now I just braid that up and I go on to my next section and brush that out. As you can see here again, brush until you can't brush anymore and there's knots, twist, and brush from the bottom up. And look how smooth the brush goes through. Now just moisturize and style your hair as you please. Brush it through and style. So now I'm gonna take out those braids and I'm just gonna put in a ponytail. Now I should have used gel, but I was lazy and I wasn't going anywhere. So I said, look, just brush it and go on about the video. Now, if you are going out, I would suggest you use gel at the top of your head just to make sure that that hair lays down and it doesn't move. As you can see, I have flyaways because I'm not using gel. But we in quarantine, guys. I wasn't going anywhere. My living room, maybe. So I decided to not use it. So you're gonna see my flyaways, whatever. Take that, bun it up. It's not perfect. If you want it perfect, use that Eco Style Gel, girl. Now I just take my Brent Mint Rock Spray and I spritz my face and here is the look guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We are never using that foundation again. Look, look at the texture. Oh, but anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for the eye look. The eye look is cute, boo. And we're looking good. Just remember, always there to be. Love you guys. Bye-bye.